This is Caleb with Hackaday. Now this past week, there's been some fairly big news. The first 3D printed gun was fired, and it made all the major news outlets. We even wrote an article about it. It was my opinion piece uh, called The 3D Printed Gun Has Been Fired and I Don't Care. If you want to read my opinions about that and how I don't think it really changes anything, go to the article here at hackaday.com. Now, shortly after that article was published, the Department of Defense requested that the files for the 3D printed gun be removed from the site that they were on. And I'll admit, it is childish, but I suddenly wanted to print it. Even though I know that it requires a special printer to be usable, it didn't matter. I was told I couldn't have it, and like a child being told to stay away from the cookie jar, I couldn't help myself. I didn't really see any other videos of it being printed either, so I thought maybe it would be a fun video to show off it being printed. So here it is. This is the 3D printed gun with added Hackaday flair on there because, I mean, you know, it's Hackaday, right? We gotta make it look pretty. Let's take a moment and watch some time-lapse video of it being printed. So you're probably wondering, now that I've gone and printed one, what do I think about it? Do I care anymore? No, I don't. You could run to the hardware store and pick up the parts to make a zip gun that would be cheaper, safer to fire, and more reliable than this thing will be. It's kind of neat because it was a first, but aside from that, no big deal. Uh, the big thing that I ran into was that every single one of the files, every single one of the pieces from this that I downloaded from multiple sources had errors and were unable to print the way they were. I had to scale them and manually repair them to get them to print, and some of them still wouldn't print after a manual repair. You can read more about that process, how I repaired them, what I tried, and why it didn't work, what didn't print, at the article here that describes everything in detail along with pictures of the process. Be sure to leave me a comment telling me what you think about the 3D printed gun, and subscribe to our channel for more information about hacks of all kinds.